situation. All right, Greg, we know we're talking about mm -hmm. the weather. Everybody been talking about the eclipse. We got a situation we need to talk about tonight. Yeah, we've got severe weather to talk about, and mm -hmm. it's going to be sticking around for a few days. We are talking about rounds of strong, potentially severe thunderstorms beginning late today, heading into tonight, tomorrow, and some of that's going to linger into Wednesday across parts of North Texas as well. So let's get to that as we get you on out the door this morning. We've been talking about the uh, potential clouds that will be around for the eclipse. Right now it is going to be mostly clear, but we'll have some higher clouds moving in. So for the eclipse time, we're going with partly cloudy skies. We'll We'll see how much those lower clouds move into the area. We talked about a little farther south. Those low clouds are going to be a lot thicker, probably slower to thin out, but we may get lucky here across the Metroplex, and certainly that will be the case as far as the rain and storms are concerned around eclipse time. As we take a look at our time cast, not going to have any rain around until very late in the day. We'll see just how much those low clouds begin to intrude as we head toward 1 o'clock this afternoon, and you see the lines there. That's indicating the eclipse path across the Metroplex, and then as we head toward late day, we'll start to see some ice related to scattered storms in our southeastern counties. Initially, this is around 5 p.m. Then those creep up toward the Metroplex as we head into this evening. So this will be the first round of strong, potentially severe storms along with that locally heavy rain threat. And then after midnight, you can see around 10 p.m. You see how widespread it will be, especially a little farther east. But after midnight, we'll have that next wave or round of showers and thunderstorms moving in after midnight as we head into tomorrow morning. So this is around 7 a.m. There will still be some isolated to scattered storms around, but we'll be watching that next cluster out to our west that works its way in as we head toward the morning, the end of the morning rush tomorrow, and that will be widespread with that severe potential continuing as we go through the day on Tuesday as well. So make sure you have ways to get the alerts and the warnings that we will likely see. And if you're going to be out taking in the eclipse, don't linger too long later today. We'll have that window maybe of an hour or two before those storms start to develop after the eclipse. And you can see heading on into Tuesday evening, another round of showers and storms, and that continues on into Wednesday morning for us. Now, as far as as that severe weather threat is concerned, we do have that enhanced risk, and we are talking about all severe weather hazards with large hail, two inches uh, plus. So that's golf ball to maybe up to baseball size hail. We're talking about the damaging wind threat and that tornado threat is going to be there as well as we head into tonight. And you see that's going to be the case on Tuesday as well. Again, the large hail, the damaging winds will have that slight risk and that enhanced risk shifts a little farther south and east as we head into Tuesday. So we'll talk more about what we can expect for the end of the week. And those will start to clear out a little bit coming up a little bit later, but now let's